Hello and welcome to another session of Q&As where we answer your questions that you've sent to us. Uh, we've got Jazz here who you're mainly interested to hear from his uh, perspective. So we have 10 questions from African Beautiful Girl um, and some of these questions we've already answered in previous Q&A sessions so we're going to skip through those ones so this video is not too long. So let's get started. Are okay. you ready? Fire away. <laughs> So uh, number five was, uh, what was the major problem other than race that your family could not accept? Um, obviously for my, uh, the, the issue wasn't with my dad and my siblings. Yeah. So the issue, obviously it was hard, it was for my mum because she uh, obviously has come from back home and she doesn't know any different really. No, exactly. Um, so... I think main, I had the main shock. issue. Yeah, the main issue was they just wanted me to marry someone who was the... So it is race related. They when they want you to marry so uh, every Asian family wants you to marry someone from the same religion and, and same, uh, same uh, caste. caste and yeah, colour and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, same country, you know. Really. That's exactly. Yeah. Um, so but, uh, what? So what couldn't your family not accept? Um, for some, so from extended family's point of view, it was probably uh, why he can't marry out of the culture. Mm. I'd uh, family turn around and say, "How can you let him do this?" Exactly. To my yeah. Family. Yeah. And my 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 father was like, "No, but I'm supporting my son. Wants, yeah. I want my son to be happy. And that's it. If you don't want to come to the wedding, don't come. That's it. It doesn't matter. His dad is really and, cool. Yeah, I love his dad. Dad's and like, cool, yeah. yeah, one thing that your dad was sort of always, one thing he always said was like, if we didn't bring you up back in India with you know. With Around the majority, people, yeah. exactly, who are... And how can we ch choose exactly. to marry, yeah. Like Indian that. people in England are minorities, and you're going to school with different people, you're going to... Anything gonna, can happen. Anything can happen. So that was always his thing, but you know mm -hmm. what, how can I force you to marry someone who is from back home when I brought you up in England it is a bit That's more it. difficult. So, That's it. So he was always cool about that. So number six is, how long while dating Primrose did you know that she was the one? Um, not long. <laughs> not, yeah, it was not long, long at all. I think we kind of really. I think it was probably like uh, literally after you. Three kinda, months, four months. Yeah, like after three months, I'd say I knew hundred and ten percent. Three year and a bit months, because then it became crunch time, and I kind of had to commit. Otherwise, she was gonna uh, open the door and tell me to get out and not let the door up. <laughs> door <knob. laughs> uh, so, so my back. back was literally against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna lose this girl. So I need to take some drastic action and actually figure out what I really want yeah but, no um, for me it was just like I'm not having my heart broken if you if, if this is not gonna work out you know yeah. let's just call it quits and yeah you just needed more time yeah, so I think I'd say about that with that one I'd say uh, anywhere between say three to four months and yeah that was you have to watch uh, the how but, we but we're gonna part make, two yeah we're gonna make a video on that cover. So. The juicy story on how that all went the, down when we were gonna break the, up. The drama, the East Enders. <laughs> they don't know what East Enders East are. Most oh, of them are American. Oh, right. well, what, what did they watch in America? What's this soap opera? That's what was. <laughs> that was like probably 10 years Wives ago. Wives of Atlanta. Oh, come on. <laughs> Whatever soap opera you have in America, yeah. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah. So, number seven. Uh, do you still keep in touch with your family? Yes. Yeah. Um, it was it was never a problem really with my father and my siblings. Yeah, uh, it's extended family that uh, I probably lost touch with because yes. a lot of them didn't come to the wedding. So um, yeah, like I, I'm fine with family. Uh, yeah, my, my like, immediate like family is great. great. Like yeah. mum's great, yeah. dad's yeah. great. Everyone's wicked Everyone, now. Exactly. Like life's good. Can't okay. complain. So we have number eight. Okay, has this experience taught you anything about human beings? And if so, what is that? Um, yeah, it shows. Uh, so going back to extended family, for example. Yeah. It shows you that everyone's got their own interests at heart. For me, what it's taught me about human beings is like, I had experienced just a, I don't know, like lack of trust in men because you see, like, when we went, there's just so many people having affairs at work. Yeah, people, and just cheating on each other. And it's just like, I don't know. I was just a bit disappointed in men in general, and I think I was like you know what, <laughs> I'm happy to be single forever. And then when I met Jazz, and I never had anybody in my life ever stand up for me and fight for me and be there for me. So what Jazz taught me is like, you know what, there is some good men out there and there is some good people out there. Yeah. And that shows you, I think that's yeah. another side of humanity. It's probably that's showed it. you and me yeah. that there's some good people, people out there, out there like yeah. Prim, 
and other people that supported us. And I thought, wow, like, yeah. and my friends became like brothers over, like, they were like brothers, but even tighter now. Like, yeah, I can't exactly. say how tight we are. Mm. Like, um, so they, they've got so much significance in my life yeah. because of how much they supported us during That's that it. period of us getting married because it was a tough because obviously oh, really hard, yeah. uh, we didn't have people supporting us that yeah. we thought were going to support us that's it so so, so it teaches you a lot so that's a, what we've learned yeah it was a good like, it was a good lesson community. it was a good lesson mm. like definitely uh, so number nine have you been to Primrose's hometown and uh, what did you think and if not why haven't you been yet <laughs> because it just doesn't <laughs> it just hasn't happened we've just not gone well, reason. most of my family have like moved abroad, so there's not really anyone specifically that I care about to go all that way for. Um, and then on top of it, it's like really expensive to go there, and mm. because we don't really have family that we can stay with, yeah. it's just it's just more. It's just, I think because we've had a family, we've had our kids, and yeah, um, you can't really financially. Maybe it just hasn't happened. That's it. We've, exactly. got, our, we've got our home. Mm. Uh, we. Obviously, we bought our home, had our kids, so everything yeah. happened all at once over the last four, five years. Exactly. And it's just been like, uh, okay, we don't really have the time or the money to yeah. go and but, do a trip like that. At the but we went to uh, my mum. I lived in Cape Town, so sorry, actually, in South Africa. So when we went to Africa, so Jazz has been to Africa just to experience what yeah. it's like, and we spent how many? Twenty-one days there. Yeah, it was about three weeks. Yeah, yeah. We so were there for three we weeks. during the twenty ten World Cup. Yeah. So that was great. As yeah, well. we exactly. Had a lot of fun, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. So he got to experience the yeah. whole African thing. And I loved but it. He, yeah, he hasn't been it. to Zimbabwe just yet. But we are gonna go. We're going. And we're gonna take the and kids. And when we do, I'm like sure Primrose will make a video. I'll make a video up. because like <laughs> you can Zimbabwe see. is absolutely stunning. Yeah. It's not what you see on TV at all. It's amazing. And obviously Victoria Falls. Yeah, I, I can't to wait to take go. Take him there. Yeah, I can't wait to Because it's one of the seven good. wonders of the world. So so yeah, I want to show mm. off my country to him just to sh uh, show him how nice it is. And the final question was, uh, which religion would you tell your kids? to practice um, uh, we um, just, we've, just we've got a religious uh, video, video on religion uh, which might uh, which is going to be up or is up yeah I we'll will see that. yeah I'll link the video to religion that we answered uh, below so guys who are interested in watching the video can go and see it but just as a quick but just a recap you. again on it uh, yeah religion we will tell them about religion we'll tell them about our religion but after that most of what we believe is based on parts of our religion but more to do with humanity and spirituality that's we it. still believe in one god yeah. and we definitely definitely i'll say the biggest thing is being a good person that's, that's it, what exactly. my that's my religion yeah and treating people with respect that's it because i think what energy you put out you get back that's right so exactly. that's what we would we would tell the kids about our religion Sikhism, Sikhism and christianity yeah and then after that if they want to uh, follow so either one up to them yeah but until then i want the basis to be based on humanity and exactly. being a good person and that's something that we sort of like tell them a lot at home that, you know, being a good person deep down inside you is at the core, at the base of you is more important than Definitely. religion. Mm. So we emphasize that a lot and we try to demonstrate to them how to be good people. Mm. Um, so, yeah, so that's that's the question on religion. Mm. So beautiful Africa. Sorry, actually, sorry. African, African beautiful girl. <laughs> African beautiful girl. I hope that's answered your questions. Thank you so much for putting the time and effort to writing them all out and um, I hope that we answered them satisfactorily. It's a bit difficult trying to answer all these questions in the yeah. world, but we're trying our best. <laughs> That's really. it, exactly. So so yeah. So thank you again so much for watching these videos. I hope you're enjoying the Q and A um, Wednesday videos and if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate just to pop them below and we get uh, we get to answer them in the future videos don't we yeah um, so yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up just to show that you're enjoying the videos and so we can carry on making them and also don't forget to subscribe the link below and that's it we'll see you soon right. bye Peace.